Welcome to this course. So this is the course of biometry and experimental design. So first I will introduce about this course. So after this short video, you should be able to plan your study according to your learning paths. So first we are going to introduce the lectures we're going to teach in this course. Then after that, we're going to explore the learning outcomes. So what you need to know after completing this course. And also the delivery approach of this course. And the last is the syllabus. And what you need to learn in this course. So there are two lectures in this course. The first one is Dr. Henry. And I'm Liu. So for the first half of the semester, you will see me. And the second half of the semester, you will meet Dr. Henry and me. So if you have any question, you can just email us. Okay. If possible, please use the smart UMS message functions to contact us. The learning outcome of this course. So after you have completed this course, you should be able to summarize data and communicate the essential feature of the data in a meaningful way. So you have learned how to summarize the data in your secondary school. You learn how to collect the data from your lab experiment. Then you summarize it in a table and then present it in chart or graph. So in this course, you need to learn additional method to summarize your data in the different type of chart. And the second, you have to know how to formulate a simple research questions. And then from the research question, you formulate a testable research hypothesis in the field of biology. You also should know how to use statistical tests correctly. So choose the one that is suitable that help you to answer your research question and analyze your data. And the last but not least is to learn how to use a statistical package. So this course is delivered in a way that might be different from other course. So in this course, we will use the blended learning. So there will be five to 15 minutes lectures for each topic. And in the lectures video, we will explain the concept of the topic. Then after that, additional material will be provided. So mainly it's a video or article related to the topic. So if you cannot understand fully about the topic after watching the lecture videos, you might want to refer to this additional material Okay, to read more and watch more video that explain the same concept but maybe in a different way. And the most important thing is for each topic, you will have a tutorial or assignment or quiz. Okay. It's very important for you to apply your knowledge immediately or what you learn immediately after you have watched the video. So in your previous experience on steady state, so you might realize it there will be a lot of the calculations and sometimes you will ask to memorize the formula. So for example, for the ANOVA test, one-way ANOVA, you have a hypothesis, then you need to do many different calculations. So for example, in this case, you have to calculate the sum of square by using this formula. Okay. And also calculate the degree of freedom, calculate the among group sum of square okay, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, this is just for one analysis, okay, one way or over. So in this course, you are not required to memorize the formula. You were asked to do calculations, but the purpose of the calculation is to enhance your understanding about the concept, why the test were used for these research questions or this type of data and how the analysis generate the result or the output so you can appreciate the usefulness of the analysis. So in this course, you need to do manual calculation, especially in your assignment and tutorial. Although in the midterm and final exam, you may not 
be required to do that much calculations. In any case, either in an assignment or tutorial or your final exam, you don't have to memorize the formulas. The formulas will be given. The most important thing is you have to understand the concept of the statistical test and the mechanical of the test. Okay, So you know that how the ANOVA will calculate and how it generate the output. It's not exactly the, the calculations, but more on the concept and also the procedure. 